everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Miranda thank you so much for joining today as you can tell by the title we are recreating Queen Amber Scholl's iconic trash bag dress it is definitely gonna be an attempt because I don't know if anybody could do it as well as Amber I thought it would be a fun DIY and I think it'd be fun to challenge myself to try to make this dress so I am really excited to show you guys how I go about it and show you guys how it turns out so if you want to see what it turns out like just keep watching and if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and give it a big thumbs up okay let's get right into it okay so this is everything that I got for the DIY this is just the skirt this is a bodysuit just like the one that she used in the video black trash bags black duct tape and then oh my god amber would be so disappointed to see that i am not using e6000 glue but target did not have e6000 this is all they had and i didn't feel like driving to a craft store just for e6000 glue so hopefully this will do it probably isn't going to be as good just because i'm not using amber's famous e6000 these are both from amazon i'll have them linked below if you want to also try to recreate this diy Okay, so the first thing that I had to do was figure out how in the world to make these little trash bag roses she was making. I kept having to like go back and watch her video to try and figure it out and it was <laughs> so frustrating and so difficult just to like figure out how to do it the easiest way and like the most, I guess, quickest way. But I did this for a while. I made like a billion roses. Um, after a lot of trial and error, <laughs> but this was definitely a super frustrating part. And then I just started gluing them on like that. And it was really hard to get them to glue on to like the bra cup part of the dress, I guess because it was rounded and it's not perfectly flat, but I could only do a couple at a time and I would have to like hold them in place. But that is what it looked like on the second day. This whole thing took me like three days to do. So you can see I'm just making more roses over and over and over again. Once I finally figured out how to make them the easiest way, it wasn't that bad. I just had to make like a billion of them. Um, but I would switch back and forth from making roses to gluing them on because I could only glue on a couple at a time on the bra cut part of the dress because otherwise if I glued on too many they would just start like sliding into each other and they would all fall off so I had to like make three roses and then glue three of them on and kind of hold them there for a second so that like, the glue could set so I just repeated that process literally until the whole top of the dress was done And then I had to make the straps wider like she did in the video. Um, since the straps were pretty thin, you have to like wrap duct tape around them to make them a little bit thicker so that the roses can stick to the straps or else they wouldn't have anything really to stick to. And this part was actually so difficult. I don't know why, maybe I was just being dumb, but trying to get the duct tape on was, <laughs> I feel like way harder than it needed to be. And then the roses kind of took a long time also because since the straps aren't flat, you have to like glue down a few and then hold them in place until the glue sets or else they just start sliding off. So it was a really time consuming process doing all of this, but this is how it ended up turning out. And then I started on the skirt. So I basically just took bigger roses and glued them along the edge of my skirt. And I made the mistake of doing this directly on the counter. Don't do this because I had to like end up lifting them up and putting um, spare pieces of the garbage bag under it so it wouldn't stick to my counter. <laughs> so yeah, I learned that. Okay, are you guys ready to see the final product? Da -da -da -da. 
Oh my god. I can't even believe that it turned out this freaking good. I cannot believe it turned out this good. It was so freaking hard but I'm so proud of myself for finishing this. I literally can't believe how good this turned out. Oh my god. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and tag Amber below. I don't know if you can even do that on YouTube, but send this to Amber. I would love for her to see. I think that'd be so cool. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!